All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the most important things you need to know when doing refrigeration on walk-in coolers and walk-in freezers, and that is, what is TD? And I also get questions where people ask me, what am I looking at when I'm looking at a pair of AC manifolds? Also, what should my pressures be? All right, so TD means temperature differential, meaning what is the temperature difference between the evaporator temperature and the return air that is being drawn across the evaporator coil? In this diagram, the yellow arrows are indicating the return air entering behind the evaporator coil inside of a walk-in box. In refrigeration, most walk-in coolers and walk-in freezers are designed with a 10 degree TD. To determine the evaporator temperature, you would need a pair of pressure gauges as shown here. When looking at a pair of pressure gauges, the outer numbers represent pressure, the inner numbers represent temperature. Pressure controls temperature, temperature controls pressure. The hotter the temperature, the higher the pressure. The lower the pressure, the lower the temperature. Also, the different colors on the inner, the green, the pink, and the orange represents the different refrigerants. So even if you don't see your refrigerant on the gauge, as long as you know the pressure, you can use a PT chart and take your pressure and convert it over to a temperature to find your evaporator temperature. Some people call evaporator temperature coil temperature or saturation temperature, but it's all the same. So don't get confused between the three. Evaporator temperature, coil temperature, and saturation. They're all three the same. Here's another example. If you hook up your gauges to the low side of the system, you're checking the evaporator temperature. If you hook up your gauges to the high side of the system, you're checking your condenser temperature or also known as saturation or core temperature like i told you don't get confused between the three they all mean the same all right so here's an example if the walk-in freezer needs to be at 10 degrees fahrenheit the evaporator temperature needs to be zero degrees in fahrenheit in order for the system to reach that set point of 10 degrees and vice versa for a walk-in cooler example if the walk-in cooler needs to be 36 degrees the evaporator temperature needs to be 26 degrees there needs to be a difference in temperature in order for the case to pull down in refrigeration we use terms like pull down means to pull down to temperature when you cool air it shrinks when you heat air it expands so as you're waiting for the temperature to drop and anything, just say it air conditioning, walk-in cooler, walk-in freezer, basically you're shrinking air. So you're waiting for the air to pull down to temperature. How I try to visualize air is looking at it like one cubic feet of air. So when they say CFM, one CFM is one cubic feet of air. So I look at that like one pocket of air as I cool down that air that cubic feet shrinks as i heat the air that one cubic feet of air it expands just say if you can visualize a 12 by 12 box of air you know if you had a ruler and you did 12 by 12 and you box the air inside of a box that's what they mean by cfm it's just a box of air going across the evaporator coil or the heat exchanger just how many CFMs per minute. You know, if it's 1,200 CFM, you're moving 1,200 little boxes of air across that heat exchanger per minute. All right, so I just wanted to make a quick little video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you again on the next one.